Welcome to the Machine Simulator Advanced Tutorial Series. Tutorial number 1. How to create a user defined component. There's a lot of situations where we need to create customized components for our machines. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to do it with a simple example. Click in the Components Editor Toolbar button to launch the Components Creation Interface. Click in the Create New Component Toolbar button in order to insert a new component. In Machine Simulator, all entities are basic primitive shapes like boxes or spheres. Change the user defined component name for Windmill. Change the new created box unit name for Base. Select a model for this box unit, may click on the model property, and select from miscellaneous category the model windmill base. Now we must to adjust the model scale, change it from the model scale property and type the same as showed. The box unit does not match the model shape, then change the box unit scale in order to have the same dimension. Take care because changing the box unit scale, also changes the model scale, then could be necessary to return to adjust the model scale. Now place the base in the correct position using the numeric arrows keys. Now we add a second box unit to this user defined component. To do it, click on the add element tool button. A new default blue box will be placed in the axis zero point. Change the box net name for blades. Let's move it to the place we want using the arrows keys from the numeric keyboard. Once is near the place we want, may click on the model property, and select from miscellaneous category the model windmill base. Adjust the model scale, change it from the model scale property and type the same as showed. Change the box unit scale to fix the blade's shape, and resize the model scale. Now you can to adjust better the blade's position. Press F2 key to change the moving scale for more precision. Change the collision of the property in order to release resources to the FISIC engine. Now is time to program the component behavior. Our user defined component will work in the following way. When a PLC output will be active, the blade start to move, if is off will stop. In order to program this behavior, first we need to declare a PLC output to be used, then may click on the PLC output list property, and from the list create a new output. Type start as PLC output name. Now may click on the code property. 
the code editor window will appear. Here is the place where we must program our user to find component behavior. For methods exits, init, main, draw and finish. The init method only is executed once. When the machine's editor starts in run mode, in machine simulator when a machine is loaded, the main and draw methods are executed cyclically while the machine's editor is in run mode. Use the main method to write the component logic and draw method to write drawing routines, if needed. And finally the finish method is executed once when the machine's editor finished the run mode, useful to destroy created components or objects. Back to our example, let's write our code. We're going to create two variables, used to control rotation and acceleration. Now we need to read the PLC output named start in order to start the blade's rotation. To do it, use the help tab, to see the input output available functions. We'll use the get output function, that will return the PLC status assigned to output start. We also will use the compensation function that returns a compensation factor in order to obtain the same rate regardless of the system. Then for fast or slower computer we obtain the same speed. Last, to make the blades rotation, we use the editor run at Z method, that will rotate the box unit with at 1, the rot variable degrees and Z axis. Let's try our component, press run machine button, and press start output, then we will see the results. When you will happy with it, save it, and name it Windmill. Now it's time to create a new machine with our user defined component. Click in the machine's editor toolbar button, go to components library and select the user defined components category. Now select miscellaneous and make double click on the Windmill component. It will be added to our machine. Now assign it one PLC output, selecting the property PLC output list. You will see that this component uses only one PLC output called start. But default is assigned with minus one, this means that is not used. Change it for zero and press accept button. You can move and rotate the component to the desired position you want, with numeric keyboard arrows keys. Once finished press run machine toolbar button and see the results. Okay. We're finished. I hope you will find useful this tutorial. Any question, comment or suggestion can be posted on the Nerd Forum. See you.